It is. So I am, I am kind of a traditional Harvard psychiatrist. I have been a psychiatrist for 27 years and uh, actually lead the education department at what's now the top ranked psychiatric hospital in the country um, and educate mental health professionals on this. So mental health is near and dear to my heart. And I have done research, I do education, I treat patients, and most of the people that I see have treatment resistant Ill mental illnesses, meaning the pills aren't working for them, the psychotherapy isn't working for them, even the shock th therapy isn't wow. working for them. And, uh, and they come to me hoping to find a better answer. You know, my own experience with mental health challenges being put on medications at a very young age at 14, um, it was also the 90s, you know, I'm dating myself a bit, but all the, the Prozac and um, the ADHD meds and all that stuff was becoming very popular and it was seen as kind of a cure-all. So it's like, let's put her on all this stuff because we can't really manage everything. And it it never really worked so frustrating because you still feel like there's this cloud over you constantly, you know, and uh, for me, finding a, a ketogenic approach and more of a carnivore style diet was the first time in my life that I felt like the cloud was gone. Your story is not uncommon. Mm -hmm. A lot of people will say, oh, she just had a treatment resistant mental illness, or she must have been difficult, or maybe she wasn't trying hard enough in therapy, yeah. or maybe, maybe she's like one of those whiny, lazy people who just wanted attention and she wanted to be sick. Um, and those accusations are all too common. And I just want to put that out there. But let me say for the record that the majority of people who get treatment for mental health problems do not get fully better mm. with our current treatments. Look at the studies that have been done, and we have decades and decades of research on this. More than 50% of people who get treatment for a mental health problem do not fully get better. You know, mental illnesses are now the leading cause of disability on the planet. Yes. And depression, depression, plain old depression that we have all these antidepressants for mm -hmm. is the number one cause of disability on the planet. And it's not because people aren't getting treatment. It's because our treatments fail to work for far too many people. Sarah, you are not alone. You are joined by hundreds of millions of other people who are just as frustrated, who are just as frustrated with like, I'm doing everything they're asking me to do and I'm not getting better. My claim to fame over the last, like six years or so, has been using the ketogenic diet as a treatment for mental illness because you're not alone. I have talked to hundreds of other patients, providers, researchers. This is not an unusual thing. This is not a fluke. You're not a rare person who has been able to put your mental illness into full and complete remission, get off your medications, and go on with your life. Mm -hmm. Annotated and summarized, easy to share with loved ones. The description below the title for this video has these summary points. <laughs>